What a day. The thrill of the hunt, the heat of the battle. So, have the Sith finally decided to partake in the slaughter? There's serious killing to be done out there. The Sith are neither reckless butchers nor common thugs. Remember that. Of course. But surely even a Sith can appreciate a good fight when it comes along. The Empire wants the Cathar wiped out. Trouble is, those furry critters have been bartering with the Nikto, trading land for protection. The Nikto are brutal. Cunning fighters, all of them. But the best of them are a cut above. The Nikto's Morgokai warriors are among the deadliest in the galaxy. They train to kill Force users and can take a normal man down as easy as breathing. If these Morgokai are so powerful, why aren't they more well-known? Aren't that many. Or could be because people haven't faced them and lived. Imps have grown tired of licking their wounds, hired us to deal with the Nikto. I'm sure even a Sith's power would be put to the test against the Morgokai. Interested in joining us? Let's see how powerful these Morgokai really are. That's the spirit. The Imperials are offering a reward for every Nikto killed, plus a hefty bonus for bringing in the Morgokai's Cortosis staffs. You make it back alive, I'll see you're paid for your kills. Lord Vargo? Uh, with respect, please refrain from disturbing my master. He is meditating deeply and dislikes interruptions. I'm Lieutenant Trell. Lord Vargo has authorized me to relay his instructions. This is a time for action. He will speak to me now. Lord Vargo's decisions can seem odd to those of us who lack his uh, insight, but his methods and results are above reproach. Our hunt for the Republic's secret project is opposed by elite Special Forces soldiers. We must annihilate them to accomplish our goal. Our troops have encircled the region, maintaining pressure from all sides. While the enemy is thus distracted, you will strike directly at their forces and obliterate them. What about searching for the Republic's project? As you assault the enemy, you will also deploy small probes to help us pinpoint exactly where the Republic is hiding this secret weapon they've been constructing. The Republic has to realize we're closing in. It's only a matter of time until they act. This was my Lord's assessment as well. A rapid resolution is part of the reason he chose to invite your assistance. There is one other matter. The leader of the Republic defenders, Major Camden. His death could only speed our progress. Camden coordinates his soldiers from a heavily fortified base. It's practically impenetrable. If you were to hijack a Republic speeder, though, you might be able to get inside. There won't be a heart left beating. Be cautious. Camden is a shrewd leader with extensive cyborg enhancements. He will not fall easily. Here are the probes you'll need to deploy. My fellow soldiers can tell you best how to strike at the enemy's forces. Good luck. My lord, Colonel Valda, your loyal Imperial, veteran sportsman, and your humble servant. You haven't seen any Republic types in the area, have you? Maybe running, hiding, or otherwise fleeing? You really think they'd come anywhere near me? I imagine they'd sooner approach a Rakul, my lord. The Vigilance destroyed a Republic cruiser not long ago. Brilliant show, but apparently escape pods jettisoned from the cruiser, made it planetside. We're to bring in the survivors. Alive, preferably. Could always use an extra pair of eyes, if you're interested. Just tell me where to go. The escape pods crash somewhere in this vicinity. The Republic lambs won't be far. Here, you'll need these. Shock collars. Extra strength. Should keep the prisoners in line. Batteries have been charged, too. Make it a long walk back for them.
I found the Republic survivors. They put up a fight, but they're all yours now. Excellent. I'll be sure to make them feel right at home. Capital work out there. Here's a little something for your time. Yoo-hoo! Won't you spare a moment? The only thing that makes all of this slogging tolerable is the chance to rub shoulders with so many influential figures. And it's such a rare pleasure to have the attention of a dashing Sith. My attention is not easily drawn. And how would a grateful woman in need of rescue fare? Daddy got me this posting. An opportunity to make our mark on this historic victory, but it's been nothing but awful. High Command assigned my platoon some musty old outpost they thought was worth reclaiming. Abandoned, they said. It wasn't. Now I'm the illustrious commander of three half-dead survivors. Tell me what happened to you. The base was crawling with those disgusting rat ghoul things. Exterminating them would be simple if we could keep the outpost's power on, but that's impossible. What benefit could that possibly bring? We could open or close doors remotely, pump out air, pump in toxins. So many cleaner options. Someone started the destruction sequence before the outpost fell, but it obviously never completed. Restoring power would restart the countdown, and getting to the overrides through the rat ghouls is hopeless. I will handle it. I just knew such a courageous man wouldn't leave a lady in dire straits. My briefing datapad has all the Imperial security protocols you'll need. Let me up, you reprogrammed torture droid. I've got news to report. Your damage is considerable. Please remain still. Sorry about my outburst, my lord. I didn't expect to see a Sith in medical. They brought me down here before I could tell anyone. One of the Republic's top special tactics squads is on Taris. Lie still. You can report once you're healed. With Valhoon's vultures on Taris, we may not be able to wait that long. They're the best fighters the pubs have, you ask me. My squad was following them in the swamp. Thought we had them. Instead, they led us into a minefield. Half of us were down before Valhoon started his attack. We never stood a chance. I want everything you know about this squad. On Alderaan, they wiped out an entire battalion and blew up our main ammo supply. They sabotaged our shipyards near Elam. I'm in no position to make a request of you, but the Empire needs someone to take them out. Killing them secures our resources and hits the Republic right in the gut. Say you'll go after them, please. These vultures will soon meet their namesake. They're dead hard and they fight dirty, but I expect you do too. We found them out by the ruined swoop tracks. I'll bet there's a camp near there. Oh, I'd love to see Valhoon himself dead if you get the chance. Good hunting. Valhoon's dead, just like the rest of his squad. I thought you should know. He's really dead? That's the best medicine I could ask for. I admit, I didn't think it was possible. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. They were a threat, so I dealt with them accordingly. I'm sorry I had to ask you to deal with my mess. But Valhoon's death is worth it. Sergeant, there's a call to a tank available now. I'm sorry to cut this short, but it sounds like I need to go. Thank you. My lord, the probes have returned. The data is coming through now. What is that? It's a hanger, you twit. Just keep monitoring it and notify me if anything, even an insect, flies out. I do hope I'm not the only competent Sith on this planet. The Republic is amassing a fleet, and I need someone capable to step in. My power knows no bounds. Your confidence nearly rivals my own. The recent increase in carrier activity led me to suspect the Republic was stockpiling a secret hangar of sorts. As always, I was right. The hangar itself is still under construction, but the fleet they've assembled easily dwarfs our own. Bring out the artillery and level the place. Oh, if I had the firepower here to do so, I'd already be dancing over its charred ruins. 
An orbital bombardment ought to reduce that hangar to dust. But first, my fleet will need the hangar's exact coordinates. This team can plant beacons in the hangar's vicinity, and our ships will destroy the Republic's greatest secret weapon in a single rain of fire. Brilliant, my lord. Now you'll see what a Sith is capable of. The Republic knows the hangar is vulnerable, so they'll be prepared. Just storm past their defenses and plant those beacons. By the time they realize what you were up to, we'll already be raining fire upon them. Apprentice, the Ward Trust dismantling has been your finest hour, but a new challenge arises. One of our missing targets, Admiral Monk, has revealed himself. As you may recall, my master Darth Vengeance set off to conquer the fringe systems and inspire the Dark Council to reignite the war. Somehow, Admiral Monk caught wind of the plan and was waiting in ambush. He is laying siege to the flagship as we speak. The plan was secret. Do you think there's a leak? Information is a funny thing. It trickles in unexpected ways. Leave those concerns to me. Plan Zero calls for Admiral Monk's head. This may be our only opportunity to crush him. Our flagship is commanded by Moff Maskin. Fly to the space battle immediately. Board his ship and stop Admiral Monk's siege. Sometimes I think it's just better to be born male. At least if you're a slave. I keep thinking of Tiva, my sister. She wasn't strong enough to work in the mines, but she got more beautiful every year. Her mother tried to hide it with mud and filthy clothes. She was afraid that if Tiva was discovered, she'd be taken away for other work? Other work? That's putting it nicely. Anyway, I've got some credits put aside, and I want to hire a tracker to find Tiva and mother. I just need to use the Imperial data files on board. Get some leads for the tracker to start with. That okay? Of course, Vet. Whatever will help. You're the best! Okay, next free moment I have, I'll start running some searches. You wanted to talk. I did it! Maybe you didn't think I could, but I did. A Kubas tracker named Krata found my sister Tiva. Found where she worked, even the name of her boss. She's on Nar Shada. Can you believe that? Krata wouldn't tell me any more until I paid him, but he found her. No time like the present? You are the best. We need to meet Krata the Kubas in a cantina on Nar Shada. I'll settle the bill with him, get the specifics, and then see my sister. I've got your credits. You said you had more information about Tiva? Freaks and nutjobs. Every alien species. Hey! Here are your credits. Now will you please tell me where my sister is? Vatarana Ango, Miss Aka Nanom, Alas Protas Era, Smarcio Pobudas, Mana Ir Padre, Mana Narcali. Fantastic, thanks. Let's go find this crystal woman. Atogia Palak Halatima, Dimas. Crystal? Yeah, cute thing? You looking for work? I would look fantastic in your outfit. Am I hired? We're not really that kind of place. Tried it. Didn't work out. We're not here for a job. We're looking for my sister, Tiva. Ah, of course. I guess everyone has somebody that loves them. Tiva! No women, no couples, and no, I don't want to hear any argument. Tiva? 
Let's step back a second and talk about that no couples policy. Shut up, please. Crazy Sith channel turned to mute. Sena? What the? You're alive? Despite my best efforts. This is my friend. He's, um, a Sith Lord. I'm going to need to have Jaysa start coming along to announce me. Ignore him. Sith are apparently more ridiculous than you'd think. So I'm guessing this wasn't a voluntary... uh... career move. I've been working here two years and it's killing me. I kept thinking I'd get sold again, but I'm too old. Sena, you have to get me out of here. Wow. Okay. Big favor. Can you buy my sister's freedom? This should cover it. Go pay your master. You are a free woman. You see why I hang out with the Sith Lord? I see. I see. I I'll be right back. It's done. I need to get my stuff. I can never thank you enough. Sena, I'll be in touch soon, okay? Make it soon. Well, that was amazing. Shall we go? Off Maskin, I presume. Darth Barris sent me. I've liberated your ship. Where is Admiral Monk? Well, well. Come to inspect the scene of the crime, eh? Admiral Monk and his top men jettisoned down to Quesh. I am so sorry you missed him. Are you here to deliver his reward? Offer congratulations? Is that your best attempt at gratitude? You think I should be grateful? This was a secret attack, yet I come out of hyperdrive to find the Republic's most decorated Admiral laying in wait. Admiral Monk had my force field and docking codes. This stinks of a setup! I suggest you clean house and find the rat. This was no Imperial leak! Your master's master is Darth Venger. Barras manipulated him into this attack in order to ruin him! I've had a bellyful of Sith infighting, always undermining Imperial operations. It's why we have yet to crush the Republic outright! Accept it. You are merely the toys we play with. I'm not taking it anymore! You will pay for your master's manipulations! Men, kill the Sith! Darth Vengeance will reward us! My lord. Drop my things in the crew bunks. Good ship. Quinn's already briefed me. I'm handling demolitions and heavy firepower support. Didn't know the captain ran things round here. I'd rather take my orders direct. Do you have a problem with the captain? By the book types get under my skin. Moff Hurden was all about regulations too. War Trust did a lot more damage than they should have. Hurden didn't think a soldier could strategize. Proved him wrong. Erden was a fool to ignore your natural talents. Doesn't matter much now. I'm here, and Erden stuck on Taris. Give me the freedom he didn't, and you'll see results. The others will tell you. I accept only the best. Shouldn't have any problem fitting in, then.